Hi everybody, this is Brian James at Rhino3D.com and in this video I'll be giving you an overview of the Rhino 6 for Windows user interface. To start we have four default viewports, perspective, top, front, and right. To tumble the perspective view, click and drag with the right mouse button. To zoom, hold down control and click and drag with the right mouse button and shift and right mouse button will pan. Right mouse button on its own click and drag will pan your top, front, and right orthographic views. You can't tumble these parallel projections, but you can use control and right mouse button to zoom in and out, just like in perspective. To maximize a viewport, double click its name tab. You can cycle through the viewports with the viewport tabs at the bottom of the screen, or you can hold down control and tap the tab key to cycle through the other open views. If you have some geometry in the scene, you can select it with left click. You can select control points for that geometry with another left click. This manipulator object you see is the gumball, which is enabled and disabled via the status bar option called gumball at the bottom of the screen. Other status bar options are grid snap, the ability to snap to the grid of the construction plane that you see. O snap, the ability to snap to objects in the scene when moving or creating geometry. And these checkboxes indicate the types of objects you could snap to. In Rhino, any feature is called a command, and you can access these commands by way of the toolbar groups. And notice how the left side of the screen, which is called the sidebar, changes as we go to different toolbar groups. You can use the drop-down menus and their corresponding flyouts, or you can type and that text will go directly to the command line. And as you type, Rhino will show you all the commands it knows with the letters you've typed so far. Over on the right side of the screen, we have panels, and these panels can be hidden and shown by right-clicking one of their name tabs and choosing from the list, or using the panels drop-down menu at the top of the interface. You can float a panel by clicking and dragging its name tab and release. You can dock that floating panel by clicking and dragging the title bar and releasing somewhere in the interface, or you can group them back together. Any viewport name has a drop-down menu next to it, and here you can change your display mode for that viewport. You can change what view that viewport uses, as well as the construction plane and other associated features for that viewport. And that's a quick overview of the Rhino 6 for Windows user interface. Be sure to check out tips.rhino3d.com for more. Thanks for watching.